for all you do-it-yourselfers out there, you're going to see expensive tools in this video. But uh, if you're a homeowner just putting this thing together yourself and you want to get the right tools, uh, Harbor Freight has a good option for inexpensive tools. You can buy the uh, angle finder, a single bevel miter saw, and a coping tool uh, all for around $125. Welcome friends. We're going to be uh, putting baseboards in this uh, bay window area, uh, the entire room, and we're going to start with the bay window. There's a lot of not complex, but there's a lot of uh, inside and outside corners. Um, we're going to measure the angles of those corners and write those down along with the measurements. Uh, go to the miter saw and cut. Um, what we're going to find is that with using a digital angle finder will really help us in determining exactly uh, what miter settings to use at the miter saw. And it's going to really enhance the installation. And as long as you can use a miter saw and read a digital angle finder, uh, you're golden. It's not that hard. You just have to pay attention. Even if you're a homeowner and you're starting something like this, just uh, take your time and it'll be, uh, it'll be easy to do after watching this video. All right, here in this clip, I'm using a Bosch digital angle finder to get accurate readings on these outside and inside corners on this bay window. You can go cheap on this or you can go expensive. I went somewhere on the upper side, the, the more expensive side. It's an invaluable tool uh, to take the correct measurements and then be able to cut those on the miter saw and get really good results. So you just open it up. It's 18 inches in span, meaning that you get past the drywall mud buildup on the uh, inside corners and the outside corners as well. So I'm just taking a measurement. I'm going to work myself around this room and write it all down and then we'll head back to the miter saw where I will make all the cuts uh, and I'll show you the angles that I found using this angle finder. Here are the measurements that I wrote down uh, using the digital angle finder. Um, the B represents a butt cut to me. Uh, so the B is just an end butt cut. The uh, C references the uh, coped cut. So B is for butt, C is for cope. And as we go around, outside corner, inside corner. Uh, and then we start out looking at the angles that we found, 27.6 on one outside left. And then, uh, so it goes from there to the other matching outside corner right. And then uh, transfers, there's a measurement cut inside corner 26.2 uh, and then so forth and so on through the rest of it just keeping up with your cuts um, makes it all pretty easy so we've cut the pieces to go around the bay window this piece here is a long 174 inch and it's going to go up the left side of the uh, bay window and it's going to cope into the uh, trim that's coming off the bay window um, we've cut a 45 degree uh, angle in the board which is the process of making a, a left coped joint and I'm simply going to trim uh, this straight edge flush with the end of the board and uh, we'll show you coping uh, the rest of it in just a second. We have our base and the speed cope. We'll mention the speed cope in another video. Uh, there's the board. It's all clamped down and ready to go. Briefly, the uh, speed cope is a jig that allows me to cope the end of this base. Uh, and it does a great job. Also works on crown molding.
So here's the final result of uh, coping with the cope jig. Uh, you can see a few little areas that I'm going to need to touch up with sandpaper, but overall it's a pretty good cope. Um, there's the cutback, sort of uh, an overhead view there, and just zoom in a little bit. Um, that little tip on the end right there, uh, that sucker is prone to break off. If you even look at it the wrong way, it'll break off. And normally, or sometimes, uh, during installation, it'll pop off as well. But really good uh, results from the speed coat. It's fairly fast. I'm getting faster at it the more I use it. Hey, folks. Sorry for all the uh, voiceovers I'm doing here. I thought I had the mic working in a couple of the previous videos, and I did not. So we've got it working now, but we'll just talk through this one. All these pieces are the uh, cut pieces cut to the um, angles that we found that were written on the paper. They've all been test fitted to ensure that they're going to fit nicely. Okay, we're back. Uh, we have the pieces for the outside corners. We're going to glue those with CA glue. And I'll show you what that is in case you don't know. It's very common in trim carpentry to glue. Um, there's a per glue, which is much more involved, but it's a lot stronger than the CA. The CA is great, uh, especially for MDF and for um, putting things together that are not going to be stressed at all. Once these baseboards are installed, the CA glue will be sufficient in this case. So you have a, um, a glue, of course. It's like super glue until you add the activator. The activator is a spray. And so what it does is it instantly bonds, hardens, and cures the glue inside the joint. And the way you do it is you spray the um, glue, I'm mean, sorry, you spray the uh, activator on one piece and the glue on the other, put the joints together, hold for about 11 seconds and you're good to go. So we take all the pieces, starting with the uh, the two outside corners, um, left and right, the glued corners that you saw me glue, and I just slid them into place and nailed them. No big deal. If you guys want to see me go through the process of nailing everything up, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to produce a video on positioning these. But it's, it's not exciting. It's just lining it up and uh, nailing it off. And so it gives a, by gluing those outside corners, it just gives a nice finished look, no nail holes, everything lines up really nice. And uh, we'll go in for a close up here. Uh, we'll go into this outside corner so that you can see, or actually inside corner. And um, the digital angle finder really does a great job in finding those true angles. Um, it uh, lined up really good. And uh, so all you need to do is know how to operate the miter saw and uh, there's the outside angle needs a little touch up with sandpaper but other than that's pretty good and as we cross over you'll see the uh, the other inside corner uh, it's looking pretty good again none of this is perfect that's not perfect but it's a uh, it's a pretty good job and then we'll uh, go to the outside corner over here looks okay it's nice tight, no nail holes on the end, no glue uh, as far as regular wood glue dripping out. And then that's the, uh, the end of that inside. So we're going to continue around the room and uh, we'll show you the result here in a minute. So as you guys know, we finished up this bay window. We have gone up the hallway, down the hallway, did the closet. We'll turn it back over here. And uh, now we are getting ready to put the last piece of this puzzle together. And uh, 
we have a uh, coat piece here that's made for this corner like that and I'm gonna put it in push it back and nail it in now we're out at the fireplace wanted to do a uh, quick video walkthrough show you the nice tight joints with cope and then the outside corners and then just sort of walk around and look at it if you guys could please uh, give me a like if, if you really like it then subscribe to the channel if you like the content uh, this is my second video it's definitely cringe worthy uh, with all the audio problems and just camera problems that I've had I promise to get better as I go and um, again if you guys could just please support the channel as much as possible it keeps me going it encourages me to uh, produce more videos and um, please let me know what to improve upon and what you'd like to see in the future and i will definitely provide that to you thank you very much